What is up guys, Pop Life here bringing you another video. If you are new to the channel, thanks for tuning in. Um, today we're going to be changing the oil on my sea -Doo. Um A lot of you guys have been asking for jet ski videos, so we're getting ready uh, to go out to the lake. Possibly today or tomorrow, it is getting late. But uh, so far for today I got a tow package installed on this thing because I did sell my previous tow vehicle. But um, yeah, so we got the CD here, uh, got the seat off, already warmed it up. And it ran water through the system. I'll put a clip of that. Um, but yeah, we need to take this dipstick off. Right here is the oil filter. To remove the oil filter, that bolt right there is an invert inverted E Torx. So that's what that looks like. I had to order a set off Amazon uh, for 10 bucks, which was pretty cheap compared to AutoZone's like 20. So um, oil gets pumped out through the dipstick, so we're gonna remove the dipstick. I bought this pump off Amazon for like 15 bucks. Kind of disappointed because I thought it was going to be bigger, but it should work. Um, came with this hose, this little hose adapter which I taped, and then I actually had to go to Home Depot and get this smaller quarter inch hose so it could fit inside the dipstick. So once you have this warmed up, you want to let this sit for at least a minute then you could pull the dipstick out and then put the tube down into the crankcase now when you put the tube in here you want to go down until you feel it stop and then pull up just a little bit so it's not all the way at the bottom now once we start pumping this the oil should just start coming through the hose Now basically gravity does the work and it's coming out really easy because I did warm it up first. So make sure you guys warm up the jet ski, put the hook up the hose and let it run for at least maybe three to five minutes. No longer than five minutes, yeah. So this thing did fill up on me pretty quick. Go find something to dump this in so I can go recycle it and then finish hooking up the rest. This is now empty once again. Let's see how much more we can get out of here. So, guys, there is one thing I'm more not liking about this. When I pump this to pressurize it, um, I don't know if it's because the oil is kind of hot, it's caving in the bottle with the pressure. We got just over half a gallon of oil out of the jet ski, so we're going to put that same amount back in. Okay, so once you got your oil drained, you want to take off your oil filter and take your um, torques and screw that off. So. Epic failure. So this is what the filter looks like when you take it out of the uh, engine to remove the filter from the cap. You just pry this up like so. Now we're going to take these O-rings off the cap. Just get something to pry them up with. Notice the top 
horn is a little bit thinner. So the top one is thin, the bottom one is thinner. And make sure when you put these O-rings back on, put some oil on the outside of the O-rings. There is a little bit of oil already on the inside, so the out is. So once you got your new O-rings on, I'm gonna just dip my finger in this oil. Just kinda put some around the sides. And this is gonna help just make sure you get a good seal once you put this back in. Now we're gonna get our filter. Um, and both sides are the same, so it doesn't matter really which way it goes. And we're just gonna put this in, get the bolt through, and then you're gonna make sure you wanna push down So, building it back up with oil, one thing you want to keep in mind when doing this is trying to put exactly the same amount of oil that came out when you drained it. Um, then what you want to do is turn the, this, the jet ski on for a bit, let it run, cycle the oil, uh, wait, a, wait a few minutes and then check the ditch stick. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope this video helps some of you people um, do your oil change yourself. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to answer those for you. Um, overall, this oil change was pretty simple. The hardest part is probably just removing the oil filter and putting the O-rings back on. But that, even that was pretty easy. A um, few tips, I would say. Definitely measure the oil that you take out so you can put the same amount back in. Um, also, don't forget you do need a special inverted size 10 Torx bit for this. And yeah, other than that, oh, and the pump obviously. But yeah, if you guys want to see some videos of me riding this thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that like button for me as well. That's going to do it for today's video. See you guys next time. Peace.